You can think of bubble sort as being a bit like a relay race going from left to right. Ascending order means that big things are going to the right. So you carry the baton unless you bump into something bigger. If you bump into something bigger, you have to give that one the baton. So three's got the baton. He runs, but then he meets nine. Nine says, I'm bigger, give me the baton. Three says, okay, fair enough. Th nine runs with the baton. He overtakes two. Two moves out of the way, that's fair enough. He overtakes five. Five moves out of the way, also fair enough. Then he meets 12. 12 says, give me the baton, I'm bigger, fair enough. He sits down, 12 takes the baton, moves past one, one moves, moves past seven, uh, moves past six, and he's reached the end, he's done. 12 is finished. Okay, we start again with a new baton, three's got it again, he goes off, he overtakes two, he's doing well, but then he bumps into five. Five wants the baton now. So five takes the baton. Oh, he didn't get it for very long. He bumps straight into nine. Nine takes the baton. Nine manages to overtake one, overtakes seven, overtakes six. Nine's done, he's reached the end. The end is now uh, just before 12, because 12's fixed. So now we've got 12 sitting down, he's done, and we've got nine sitting down, he's done. Right, start again with a new baton. Two takes the baton, has to pass it straight to three, who has to start, pass it straight to five. Five manages to overtake one, but then immediately has to pass the baton to seven, who manages to overtake six, and then sits down. So each of these is a pass, and at the end of each pass, one person or one number gets fixed in the correct position. Okay, new baton, two, hands it straight to three. Three manages to overtake one, but then has to hand it to five. Five hands it straight to six. Six is already the, at the end, he's got nowhere to go. Six is now fixed. And we're gonna keep doing this until we do a full pass with no swaps, no overtaking. So that's what we're looking for to finish, full pass, no swaps. So let's go again with a new baton. Two's got the baton, overtakes one, because two is bigger then has to sit down and give the baton to three, who passes it straight to five, who says, I can sit down now. New baton, one, passes it to two, two, passes it to three, three, sits down. And that was what we were looking for. We did a full pass with no swaps, no overtaking, and uh, so that's how we can definitely conclude that the sort is complete. And you have to write this down at the end. Full pass, no swaps, sort complete. Obviously in an exam, you can't um, move the numbers about, so I'll show you what it looks like when you write it in an exam. So imagine picking up the three, uh, sorry, not on a pen, the three's got the baton, but he has to sit straight back down again and hand it to nine. Nine's now on the move. Nine is going to overtake two, but then he'll have to sit down. So this is where nine is going to sit down. And this is where 2 has moved to to get out of the way of 9. Now 12 is on the move. Now 12 overtakes 5, overtakes 1, overtakes 7, and actually ends up right at the end here. This is where 12 ends up sitting down. And everything has moved left to get out of his way. And he is now fixed. He's in the right position. So that shows the result of one pass where everybody is. Now we can go again. So on the left-hand side, three's got the baton. He manages to get past two, but then he gets blocked by the nine. So the three ends up sitting down here, and there's the two gone diagonally left one, just like all of these did, moving out of the way slightly so that the thing can pass. So keep your columns nice and organized and write in nice, neat columns. So what's on the move at the moment? Uh, nine. Nine is gonna overtake five, overtake one, overtake seven, over six, take six. This is where nine will end up over here. Everything will go left out of the way. Five, one, seven, six, and now nine is fixed. Okay, two. Two starts moving, but immediately sits down again. Three starts moving, but immediately sits down again because five is bigger. Five can actually move. Five can get past one, but he can't get past seven. So he sits down here and one moves out of the way. Then who's got who's moving now? Seven. Seven's got the baton. Seven manages to overtake six and sit down. Six has moved out of the way, and now seven is fixed. Okay, let's go again. Two immediately sits down. Immediately he's he has to pass the baton to three. Three manages to get past one, but is then blocked by five. So three ends up here. There's one, he moved out of the way, left one. Five has now got the baton and is moving, but six is in front of him and he's bigger. So five passes the baton onto six. Six sits straight down because he's at the end anyway. He's done. Right, two. Two can move past the one, but he gets blocked by the three. So two ends up here with the one moving to the left. Three's now on the move, but he can't move because five's bigger. He passes the baton to five who can now sit down. We still did a swap there, 
Um, two overtook one, so we have to keep going. So one starts off, he sits straight back down, passes the baton to two. Two passes the baton to three, straight away sits back down. Three's already at the end. That's what we were looking for. A full pass all the way across. Everyone just passes the baton to the next person. There were no swaps, so the sort is complete. Normally you'd write this at the bottom, but I've run out of room. In this example, we're trying to do descending order. So that means small things are going to the right. Small things are what get to carry the baton. So if you're small, you carry the baton. So 36, he sets off. He manages to get quite far. He gets all the way to here, but then he's blocked by the 26, which is smaller. So the 26 takes the baton. Here's the 59 and here's the 71. They moved out of the way. 26 has got the baton, but he has to pass it straight to 11 because 11 is smaller. 11 takes it, goes past 20. He sits down. He's done. 20 moved out of the way. That's one pass. Right, 59. He takes it. He can move one space, but then he has to pass it to 36, who is smaller. 36 has now got it but doesn't have it for very long because now 26 has got it. 26 doesn't have it for very long either. He has to pass it straight to 20. 20 now says, I am now fixed. Okay, 71, he can't have it. He has to pass it straight to 59 because 59 is smaller. 59 has to pass it straight to 36, sit back down. 36 has to pass it straight to 26 and sit back down. 26 says, I'm fixed. And then that was it. That was what we were looking for as telling us that we've got all the numbers in the right order. It was a full pass. No swaps. So we know that the sort is complete. These are actually so much more difficult than you possibly imagine. Okay, we're going for alphabetical order. How far can N go? So N is here. So it can go past H, it can't go past R. So N gets, oh, I'm in red. N gets blocked here. I'll just do it in red. And H is moved out of the way. Now R is moving. R is here in the alphabet. So how far can he go? He can go past K. He can go past... No, he can't go past S. He gets stuck here. R gets stuck here. K is moved out of the way. S is now on the move. S can go past C and J and E and M. And can S go past everything? Yeah, I think he can. S can go past everything. He can go all the way to the end. So he's now fixed. And everything kindly moved out of the way. Uh, e, M, P, L. There we go, that's one pass. Right, H. H can't go past N. He's going to have to sit back down. N. You can go past K. Um, you can't go past R. You get stuck there, sorry. So you can go here. K moved out the way for you. Now R's on the move. R can go past C and J and E and M and P and yep. And I am actually looking at this alphabet down the bottom. I think R can go all the way to the end. So he can go all the way to the end, actually. And everyone can move out of the way for him. M, P, L. Right, H, can you go anywhere? Let's have a look. There you are, H. Can you go past K? No, you can't. Sorry, bad luck. K, you... Oh, you're stuck as well, sorry, because N is bigger than you. N, you can go past C. You can go past J. You can go past E. You can go... Can you go past M? Yes, you can. You can go past M, but you can't go past P. You're going to get stuck here behind the P. Okay, C's out the way, J, E, M, they all moved. P's moving, but P, yep, P can move past L. There's P, L moved out the way, done. H, H, you still can't get past K, sorry. K, you can move past C. Uh, can you move past J? Let's think. Can K move past J? Yes, it can. And E, but it can't move past M. I think K ends up here. Uh, so then C's moved, J's moved, E's moved. M, you cannot move. N is bigger than you. You have to stay there. N, you can move. You can move. Well done. You go there. L moved out of the way. Done. I think I'm going to run out of room here. Okay, H. Oh, H can move now. He's moving past the C, but that's all. That's a little bit of movement for the H. Uh, J, where's he going? He's going past E, past, no, not past K. No, J has to just stop there. Uh, K, where are you going to go? K can overtake M? No, he can't. Bad luck, K. M, you uh, can overtake L. You can, because L is to the left of you. So you can go there, and then you're fixed. And I think that I am not in a position to create more room. Oh, I am. Look, I can create more room. 
Good. Okay, right, where were we? So, C, you can't move. H, you can overtake E. That's to the left of you. You can, where's H? There's H. H can overtake E, but not J. Okay, so he gets stuck behind J. He's moved a bit. J, uh, can you move past K? Uh, here's J. He, no. No, he can't. He's just got to wait. K also has to wait. Now, L is fixed. Okay, I'll just go down here. C, cannot overtake E. E, cannot overtake H. H cannot overtake J. J can't overtake K. K is now fixed and that was a full pass with no swaps. So the sort is complete. Although I don't trust myself particularly when it's the alphabet so I may have gone wrong. In which case I apologise. Okay, your turn now. Pause the video, have a go at these two. One's numbers. Um, we'll go ascending order for the, um, for the numbers. So it's big things going to the right. And we'll do alphabetical for the letters. So pause the video, have a go yourself, and then I'll show you the answers. So here's the answers for the first one. You do have to check yours really carefully because um, it has to be literally identical to this. It shouldn't be different at all, otherwise you lose loads of marks. So pause the video, check it really carefully, and then I'll show you the next one. And here's the last one. Again, check really carefully. Sometimes I check um, by going downwards rather than across, so checking that the letters are in the correct order. But it's, it's difficult to check, but very important to make sure you've got the method right. So that's really easy, right? Uh, ridiculously easy. Um, and, well, other than knowing the alphabet, but... This is one of the things that can go wrong, numbers turning into other numbers. This is a really good example of a uh, zero becoming an eight. It's a classic one. Another example of the same thing, a five becoming a three, another classic, threes and fives like to interchange. So these are the main checks for you to um, be aware of. Uh, keep your numbers clear, ordered, and in clear columns downwards. Don't make sure that the columns are really obvious. Put a note at the top about what's going to the right, what takes the baton off something else so you don't get muddled, and make sure you finish with this sentence, complete pass, no swaps, so the sort is complete.